John McGuinness, welcome to Bennett's by Social. I don't know why I keep saying that. You've been on this channel too many times. Um, <laughs> Do you back mean too many the, times? <laughs> back for another year. Congratulations, 2023 Honda Rider once again. Seem happy? Nice, nice thing for you? Yeah, happy, happy as Larry. You know, everything's all balanced and happy days and, you know, same sort of what I like, some consistency and second, well, not second year with the team, is it? I mean, long relationship with the team, but... Uh, you know, with um, you know going forward from last year, it was solid performance last year, and you know the blade finished every race. Um, could have been slightly better if it, in some ways, but uh, you know there was a lot of pressure on last year with 100 start, 50 year old, 30th anniversary of the blade, and you know this year it's sort of, sort of need to get down to business really and just get on with racing the bike. And uh, I'm looking forward to it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I must be mad, and I keep. It's sort of a bit of a broken record, really. I think I'm not too old, and you know, should I be doing it? But I still, you know, we're on the Alaman now, and you know, got off the ferry, and nerves jittering around, and you know, that anticipation and everything else that comes with this place, it, it, it's still there for me. You know, the old fire still kindling away at the minute to uh, fire up in uh, in a few few weeks. You joked earlier that still employed at the age of fifty. <laughs> Is that how you? Is that really how you feel? Is it a nice? Is it a pride thing that you're still still involved in it all? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. In my head, it's just a number. The 50s is is a number. Uh, I know, probably from the outside looking in, you think maybe I should move over and give somebody else a chance. I don't, I don't know, but you know, I'd still, still, en I still enjoy. It. It's the same old word, enjoy, enjoy. But I just, I don't know. I, there's lots of other things in racing. It's not just getting on the bike. It's the the people, the the excitement, new leathers, and you know, the, when the, the delivery man's coming up my drive, I know it's my new suit. I'm, I'm excited. I'm the delivery man for my new helmet. I'm excited, you know. So, and uh, just working with the team, working with a new teammate, you know. Uh, so it's and hopefully I can give a little bit back. What's what's given me so much enjoyment and. And, and, and paid the bills for the last 30 years, you know, so we can, you know, we'll keep going while we can because one day it's going to stop and you're not going to be able to get back on one. But I sort of call it, I'm still in the hamster wheel, you know, I've never come out of it. I've just kept going and going and going and going. So uh, long may it continue, I want to race forever, but I know the time will come when I can't. But uh, while I can, do it. <laughs> last year, last year seemed to take it out, take a lot out of you in terms of what was going on behind the scenes in terms of all the camera work and everything else. Mm. But how close were you after the TT? How close were you to saying enough's enough now? Or did you ever get to that point? Were you desperate yeah, to come back? You know, when 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 I finished finished the race, I was in 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 a lot of ways a little bit disappointed with when performance in the senior. I, I made a you know a, an absolute amateur error speeding in the pits, so potentially could have cost me a top six position. We ended up ninth, and you you come away ninth, and and, and you're sort of semi disappointed, but. I don't want to sound a diva, but I mean a top ten in a, in a TT in a senior TT is, is pretty decent result in any any man's terms. But for me, I was a little bit could have been better. I think we could have tidied a few things up. Um, I think my fitness levels were probably a little bit down last year, to be honest. And I know it's it's been part of my flipping journey of my whole life with the fitness and weight and everything. But I have lost a bit of weight. I lost about seven kilos. I've been trying to make a bit of an effort. So I think if I can tidy a few little bits up and perform a little bit better and give myself a bit better chance and if I'm sixth or seventh then I can accept it a bit more but I mean the first race was was unreal you know the gold bike the number one the bling levers the, all the attention and I have to say you know it doesn't matter who you are how much experience you've got you're still you're feeling a bit of pressure so but yeah we've got the bike over the line and so yeah, you can you, you can always improve in yourself. No matter what, how old you are, how much experience you've got, there was room for improvement. I want to improve them up, you know, tidy a few little bits up, and have another crack of the whip. I'm saying there that there's always room for improvement, but do you feel that you've got anything else left to prove on this island? No, it's not. It's not a prove thing for me. I've never, never thought that way. I never. I have a lot of people ask me that. Oh, enough, what have you got to prove? You know. Jesus, I won, I won 23, and uh, to be fair, if I had a, I'd never had a handbook to how to do it. I just I sort of waltzed through my racing career, picking up wins 
at the TT, you know, maybe maybe I concentrate on it harder, maybe I'd better bikes, maybe I'd better tyres, I, I don't know, but uh, I don't know, like I say, I've nothing left to prove if that's the word, but I still like doing that, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, you get one go at it a year, you know, you, you can do a million laps of Donington, you can't do a million laps of the Alaman, you only get one little go at it and you've got to make it count, so... Uh, as long as, for me, the, 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 the end goal is just to stay in one piece, enjoy the racing, give a little bit back to the sport. Uh, I've still got the support, you know, my loyal fans are all behind me, my family's behind me. There's no interruptions, interference with anybody else, so take it with both hands and until we can. <laughs> New teammate for next year as well. Were you a little bit surprised when Half told you it was going to be Nathan Harrison? or? Well, I'd like to think I was slightly involved in the decision. Uh, you know, at some point I would maybe have to step into some more of an ambassador role uh, for Honda, I'd like to think so, I'd like to think I'd, my opinion's worth something, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't surprised, I think it's it's a nice thing, it's a, it's, it gets his go, you know, at some point these kids need an opportunity and a chance and, and uh, you know, the future, the minute we need these younger ads to be involved, need these to be the next generation of winners and uh, you know nice little story you know he looked I look he looked up to me and he's you know I wouldn't have known at the time but he's getting posters signed and made with me and stuff and, uh, yeah but I, I like him because he's he smiles he says please he says thank you doesn't expect it you know he's he's served his time he's done the manx the the TT the and he's been safe and he prepped his own, he's prepped his own bikes with a, a real tight-knit team, which is a lot to be said for that, you know, he, he realises it, what the value of, of it's about, you know, so... Uh, Does that remind you a bit of yourself back in the day? Uh, Prepping your own bikes with a tight-knit yeah, team and doing yeah. it the hard way, if you like. Yeah, I mean, it's sli slightly different to the way I did it, you know, I mean, I, I, you've got to respect him even more, you know, you're on that ferry every weekend going to a BSP round and... Mm -hmm. You know, you're prepping your bikes and, and, and on a Monday morning after a night ferry all back from you know you drive through the night to Brands Arch and then you're in work on Monday morning then you cannot you can't not respect the kids so uh, you know where a lot of people do tend to forget that you know it's uh, keep yourself grounded and, and, and take the opportunities and uh, make them count you know he's got to make it stick now you know he's got got to slightly up his game I would imagine you know well, that that's puts him into a position where the maybe slightly vulnerable but you can just bring him along and give him the, the right tools for the job and no pressure on him but he will put a bit of pressure on himself I'm sure uh, you would do I feel it I've done done 105 starts and I feel like I've got 10 bags of cement on my shoulders sometimes but you know just smile enjoy it enjoy the experience and yeah you know it's uh, I'm I'm miller fortunate you know I, I can I go home on a Monday and I, I, I can Take my kids to school and then maybe mow my grass, you know. Where he's got, he's got, dad's got him on a tight rein and he's in, in work on Monday, which is grounded. <laughs> I suppose for him it's good to have you in his corner, but realistically, how how much do you want to help him and how much will you be helping him? It's just com completely open for me, you know. The data will be shared, the, everything that everything I've got or no, I'll, I'll put into into young Nathan and you know my teammate last year you know he was the fastest ever newcomer and I would like to think I was part of that jigsaw you know is um, I can't not see him I can't I would never throw anybody a, a curveball you know this place is super dangerous we know the risks we know what can happen so why why make him even more vulnerable you know it's, it's, it's dangerous enough as it is so you know, he's done his own work, he served his time. Uh, Glenn came as a newcomer last year in 129, but he actually went faster than I did. Mm -hmm. As a newcomer, with an orange jacket on. Which is, you know, it, it's, it's been and it's gone and it's just his news, but I don't think anybody really gives, understands how yeah. hard that is to go that fast as a newcomer. So, you know, it's, uh, I'll help him out. You know, whether it's the right thing, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit old, and I'm 50, well, I'll be 51 when I'm on the start line, but things have done slightly different for me, you know. I think I've got to go forward and, and 
you know, this this generation has to do things a different way where mm. we were a bit lacklustre, a few pints, a bit of crack, you know. And, but now it's much more professional and stuff well, like that. Well, he's not so. like that. He doesn't drink, does he? So. Hey, he, he said, I said, have you had a pint of beer? No, I don't like it. It tastes horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, to be fair, sometimes it does taste horrible, doesn't it? But uh, I'll get a pint down here before the end of testing in Spain. <laughs> he's, he's actually, well, he's technically, he's half your age. So does that make you Cheers. feel old or Cheers. does it help you keep young, if you like? How do you look at that? Um, I, I, going back to that, the, the, I don't feel old. I don't feel old. I think probably slowly I've been, but you deal with the aches and the aches and the pains yeah. and the, you know, the face is getting a bit saggier and stuff. And but honestly, I've got a spring in my step when it comes to it. I'm still dialed in, still focused. My eyesight's good. You know, Honda lent me a new motocross bike. I'm like a, I'm like a dog with two bits. You know, when I see it, I'm still, still uh, feel. Yeah, good question. Does it make me feel younger? Probably not. Does it make me, make me feel old? Maybe, you know. It's, it's a laugh. It motivates me as well, you know what I mean? I, I sometimes like being on the ropes and when they write me off a little bit, I sort of come out come out fighting a bit, you know. So, uh, but it's not so, and I'd love to put my head on his on his shoulders, you know, just uh, all that experience into a younger body. <laughs> that can't happen, but... Uh, well, we're not, no. right, we're not writing you off. No, I don't no. think anybody will write John McGuinness off. You've just said there that you'd want to put your head on his shoulders with all your knowledge do you think that potentially Nathan Harrison could be the next John McGuinness because realistically if you look at it this yeah. way he's only done two months Grand Prix mm. and a TT and now he's a factory Honda rider yeah so he's it's a worry it's a worry for me you know the steps of the leaps have gone you know mm -hmm. I mean I did it as a privately in 96 97 private 98 you know I didn't get my big first big back ride really till 99, 2000, so it's a bit of a slower progression, but what do you do, you know, if it's coming through that ranks that fast and the opportunity's there, you've got to take it. Uh, I don't know, I just, like I say, I wish, in a lot of ways, you know, I, I wish I was on the bike with him, riding it alongside him, you know, a little whisper in his ear to, to do it. I want to see, I just want to see good kids ride faster and I want to see the TT survive and thrive and go forward and, you know, it's, uh, you know, like, uh, Bruce Anstey's gone, really, as a generation of me, coming towards the end, Rutter's coming towards the end, you know, they just need these kids to come through and, and bolster the job up, and uh, I'm sure they will, you know. You're talking there about not feeling old in yourself, you age of 50, and just for an example, the track days that you've been on last year with the Bennett's guys, yeah. you, you've seen people like Bionic Beth, who literally, she's got... No. you know one leg and you've got some people that are starting racing at 58 and you're helping them out and yeah. you're younger than them so it must give you a lease yeah. of life to go well if they can do it like that um, there's exactly, no reason yeah. why I can't yeah, well, I there's no reason got, why I need to stop still got the passion for it I still I mean Honda's still daft enough to give me mm. motorbikes so <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm having it I'm having it you know I'm having this uh, these opportunities uh, but yeah, he's humbling at times like you say I've been on these track days and you know people come back from bumps and scrapes and accidents on the road and you know, they, it, it brings everybody together as well. You know, everybody has their own stories and emotions, and uh, you know, like what excuse have you got for the lasses running around one leg going okay? And, yeah, I, don't know, I mean, Nathan's had his bumps and scrapes. You know, he has a right hand gear change like Hutchie has, but I mean, Hutchie won nine TTs with a, a left hand gear change and nine TTs with, a, you know, after his injury. So. Uh, You've got to come back from him. If you pick yourself up from that and dust yourself off, then and I did as well in seventeen. You know, I, I could have finished me off, but I didn't want to finish on, a, on an accident. So, but yeah, 50, 51, 52, Jeremy Williams is fifty nine. You know, he goes to out to America and sticks it on to young kids on them baggers. You know, all, mm -hmm. that's all the inspiration you need, isn't it? And if you still get the still got the opportunity and just keep keep the focus, keep the drive, don't let anything else interfere with it. You know, I'm just bikes, 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 bikes all the time. We'll never have a day off his bikes. Watch the speedway match. I'll go to it. I've got nothing else in my life. And I'm worried as well that when it finishes, I've got a bloody big hole to fill. I don't want it to finish. I just want to keep keep going. But, uh... You'll have to fill that hole with a bit of golf then. I know how much you love your golf. Come on. <laughs> come on. But if we look at the uh, the package that you want, the Fireblade, realistically, after from last year, what you experienced, what, where do you think the Fireblade can improve to? to help push you and Nathan a little bit further up the leaderboard? 
I don't think the bike is a million miles away. I think the package you've got is a winning package. I think, to be fair, we had a newcomer on board last year. It did unbelievably well. And I think the blade was better than I was. You know, I think that, uh, you know, Connor did 133 second fastest lap of the meeting behind Hickey, I think. Or he was on the podium. So the, the definitely it's a winning package. He just needed, I shouldn't probably say it, but he needed a winning jockey on it at the time, you know. There's a couple of other riders there making a problem, making a problem. <laughs> but I mean, the, 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 there's, a, there's, a, there's a bit in me, there's a bit left in me, and I, like I was saying earlier in the conversation, slightly disappointed with some bits of my performance. So, uh, but it did its job. Got, you know, after missing 17, 18, disaster 19, off, you know, pandemic, mm -hmm. to get back on it and, and to be safe and tick that box. Now it's maybe time to step it up in gear <laughs> where can so. you realistically improve then what, or what can you do to fit, improve probably a little bit of fitness in myself and then not a right lot to the bike just try harder just push you know you've got to roll the dice you know you've got to you've got to be committed you've got to be pushing you've got to be bang on it you've got to be I mean the test programme this year will be a lot more intense we're off to Spain we're going to go and do four days into Monte Blanco I think and Andalusia then we're just going to do more riding and that's probably last year lacked a little bit of riding didn't do enough uh, sort of sat back on some of the things that were important in ways and not important in other ways you know there was more of a celebration thing than more of a you know, I've done it before I did that Joey thing in 2013 and put myself on tons of pressure then I won the senior because it was back in me my normal slippers if you like you know just if you want me to get this riding for Honda not doing the Joey thing and so there's a lot there's, uh, you know I just want to try and come in a bit more under the radar and then do my concentrate 110 percent on the riding, not not so much celebration stuff. What sort of happened last year, to a degree, yeah. if that makes sense. Uh, it does make sense. <laughs> Final event. Uh, it's a bit of a bone of contention with some people, but Superstock and Superbike with Honda. What about Supersport? Will you be doing running your own thing again, or hopefully, you seem yeah. to enjoy that? Hopefully, yeah. Do you know what the, the nice thing about with, with like my my racing package i've got loads of real good people around me that have been loyal and, and supportive and supported through my injury and supported through good times and bad times and you know we put that little 600 package together and i was proud of it you know it looked the looked the business on the line number one but you know and uh, you know all my little it was like a bit of a thank you to everybody for me like robin burns and blue earth construction and a few other and, and, and yourself bennett's and you know i've put, covered all them things and it was it was like a real big extra little bit of icing on the cake for everybody you know and it uh you know at times it was a little bit we probably weren't prepped very well but we got through it and you know it was when you're at the Alamanian you need as much track time as you can uh, so yeah hopefully we'll well the bike's there <laughs> but we'll just have to uh piece it all together but I mean the priority is the blade really Priority is the big super. That's where all the problems, kudos, everything is with the bloody winning the big bike races, you know. But yeah, I mean, I've always ridden 600, so uh, and they're great to ride. Sometimes you're in control, <laughs> you know, you're bossing a 600. Sometimes mm -hmm. big bikes, you're like, Whoa. you know, they're so powerful now. And, yeah, they're scary at times. The big bikes, are, they go from point A to B very, very quickly, you know. So, uh, but when you've mastered one. It's the most satisfying thing to ride. Well, John, thanks very much for your time. Hopefully, we we'll see you on a TT podium in 2023. And good luck for the year. Good luck for the year. Cheers, mate. Thank you.